Hello everyone, our today's video is about electric power. Electric power is defined as the rate at which electrical energy is consumed in an electrical circuit. Or in other words, it is the electrical work done per unit time. The electric power is denoted by P and is equal to W divided by T, where W is the work done and T is the time. There are different mathematical forms of electric power. The first one is P is equal to W by T. The second form is P is equal to VI where V is the voltage and I is the current. The third form of electric power is P is equal to I square R where I is the current and R is the resistance. We will derive these three equations. Uh, and define the unit of electric power. Well, according to the definition of power, we know that P is equal to W divided by T, where W is the work done and T is the time. Now, according to the definition of potential difference, we know that the potential difference V is equal to W divided by Q where W is the work done and Q is the charge or the work done per unit charge is voltage or potential difference. So the potential difference V is equal to W by Q. Solving this equation for work done W, we will get W is equal to VQ. Now we will substitute the value of this W in this equation. So we will have power P is equal to VQ divided by T. This VQ is the value of W. Now in this equation Q is the charge and T is the time and according to Ampere's law we know that the current I is equal to charge Q divided by T or the number of charges passing through a point in a unit time is current. So we have the current I is equal to Q by T. We will substitute this value of I for Q by T and we will get P is equal to VI. So we have the equation for power P is equal to VI. Now according to Ohm's law, we know that the voltage V is equal to IR or current time resistance. Current time resistance is equal to voltage according to Ohm's law. Now we will substitute the value for this V in this equation. So we have P is equal to I R into I. Multiplying this current I with this I, we will have I square R. So this is the third equation for power. And in this equation, this I represents the current and R is the resistance. All of these three equations are equally valid for calculation of electric power in a DC circuit. Which one is to be used depends simply on the known quantities. If the current and resistance is given, then we will use this equation. If the voltage and the current is given, then we will use this second equation. And if the work done or energy is given and time is given, then we will use this first equation for the calculation of power. The unit of electric power is watts. And according to the definition of power, we know that the power P is equal to W by T. W is again the work done and T is the time. The unit of work done we know is given as Joule, which is also the unit of energy. So Joules divided by second. The unit of power is equal to Joule per second and is given as Watt. Now, if a potential difference of 1 volt causes a current of 1 ampere, then the power will be equal to 1 watt. Other units of power are milliwatt and megawatt. That's it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe EasyEDU for more videos.